Welcome along, welcome along to the Army Analysis Series. And we're going back to our roots. We are going to have a look at the classical period and the Persians. Thomas has requested the Persians. He asked me if I could have a look at them. And I said, OK, I've been doing loads and loads of videos um, for armies in High Middle Ages period. So I thought, well, it's time to go back, isn't it? It's time to go back. Um, the Persians are interesting because they're sort of caught between periods, really. At, at times in the in the league, um, they've been in the biblical period, um, and in recent seasons, they've been in classical period. And we're going to look at that. We're going to talk about that a little bit um, because it does make a big difference to this army. Okay, so. As you can see from the start, we've got tons and tons and tons of the mixed bow, bow with light spear units. Um, now, you can take allies. I had a look at this list with the allies, the Saka allies. Um, but overall, I, I felt that probably it's better just to take your, your, your army out with our allies because all the, the Saka list gives you is, is some extra horse archers. Um, and that's about it, really. And and some of those are light horse archers, so they're not really game changing. Whereas with this base list with no allies, I've got eighteen of the mixed bow units, which is incredible. I mean, look at this. I mean, I'm so used to. The other thing to say is, we're in the league, in the classical period, we play at sixteen hundred points. Um, at the moment anyway and in high middle ages we play at 1200 points so coming from the high middle ages th these armies are huge uh, especially if you've got cheaper end infantry I mean this um, expo costs 45 so I've just got so many units it seems um, but I think it, it it's better because with the Saka allies I, I only had about 12 of these mixed bow units and then and this build, I've got 18, I've got six more, plus I've got one more immortal unit, which are your kind of your superior quality troops. Persian immortals, superior and armoured, whereas your mixed bow is average protected. So there's a big difference there. Um, so overall, I think this is the this is the way to go. Now, um, I had a look at the records, and this army has a pretty good record. It has about a 58% win rate, which is good. As I've said before, when I, when I tend to look at the records, um, most of the armies are around average. They're about 50-50. Um, some of the better armies, Romans, Carthaginians, they might be on 52-54% win rate. Something like that. So when you're in, you know, 58%, that, that's, that's good. That's one of the better armies in terms of win percentage. Um, and it has to be because of all this mixed bow. I mean, if you can get a good position on the map, especially rough grounds or hill, and fire away. I was doing some tests uh earlier and these units even just one unit it seemed one volley of arrows was causing around with the armored units it was 20 to 30 casualties and with the protected units it was more like 30 to 50 and that's just one volley and generally you're going to get two in before impact so if you've got these units together if I've got a long line here of enemy units coming facing me head on, I would say, I, I haven't tested exactly, but what have I got here in this line? It's just over 10, isn't it? Yeah, about 11. So, I don't know. I would expect to disrupt two or three enemy units before impact, you know, to just give you a rough idea. That's because if you if you focus your fire, it's highly likely, especially the protected units, um, you're going to cause some damage. And when you look at the kind of units they're going to face, 
especially in biblical um the veteran hoplites now they are a good unit veteran hoplites are a good unit um i think they're about 60 um but they're protected they're not armored so against these kind of units they are going to suffer and that probably shows why this list can do really well in biblical in biblical now it's a whole nother story in classical and i've been doing t some tests i've been looking at i've got loads of statistics here you might want to, to bring a notepad at this point um because the problem is in classical this army is at quite a disadvantage because you're up against impact foot you're up against the romans even the imitation legionnaires they're they're impact foot the pikes they are um, large units so they get an advantage they're the strength modifier um, and that is basically bad news all round uh, because hoplites on impact they don't get an advantage against even your your average mixed bow unit the standard hoplites their evens on impact even the armored hoplites it costs quite a bit they're at 54 um quite a bit more than than these units your mixed bow uh if you remember armor doesn't count on impact so your armored hoplites you're paying for armor, but that doesn't count on impact. So they're evens even against armored hoplites on impact. But against a lot of your standard decent units in classical, I had a look at this. And on impact against your Roman legionnaires, they're down 150. So the Romans are up 150 on impact against these units, your standard uh, mixed bow. Uh, Pike's about 170. The pikes are up 170 against these units because of their the deep ranks. Imitation legionnaires, their imitation legionnaires are up 100 on impact because they're impact foot. So that is a big difference. You're going from 170 for pikes, 150 for the Romans, up on impact to evens with the hoplites. So you know they're really going to struggle in classical and uh, it's very interesting because i had a look in the league uh and at the moment quite a few uh, players are using the persians but it's the the list um next that i'm going to look at next the 480 bc list and we're going to have a look at those uh, so let's keep our eyes open on how they do because i suspect they will probably struggle. I did play um, uh, someone who, I think it was Tomoy. I think Tomoy took out the Persians and about a season or two ago in classical. And he finished, I think he finished bottom or near the bottom. I think he had something like two wins and uh seven losses or something something like that he had um, a pretty bad record with the persians in classical even the immortals i was looking um at the stats and how they do on impact and on impact uh the immortals are down 100 against the roman legionnaires uh they're down 50 even against imitation legionnaires uh, they're evens against pikes, uh, and they're they're up a little bit. They're about fifty up against uh, your armoured um, hoplites. So again, do better against hoplites. Not so great against the Romans and the pikes. And uh, even in melee, they're down fifty against the Roman legionnaires. They're down twenty three against pikes um they're they're up a little bit against imitation legionnaires they're up 12 but when you look at the price persian immortals are 75 and your imitation legionnaires from what i remember are about 51 so they're only up 12 and i generally say if the difference is under 25 even up to 25 difference that's only slightly advantaged so they're not up that much, and yet they cost so much more. 
so they're struggling a little bit we don't have much cavalry but it is pretty decent cav if you wanted to take out some of, of this infantry maybe you could take um some more of this armored cav which is pretty good because it's superior and armored and with bow so in classical they do do well uh and maybe you could take out maybe one and maybe mass bow um and add one of the because we've got we've got so many of the mixed bow units that maybe if you wanted more more cavalry if the map looked it's not so open isn't it there's there's forest here some hills and but if you wanted some of uh some extra cavalry then you could take it so there's a little bit of flexibility not much but there is some um i haven't bothered with skirmishers because of <laughs> all of these mixed bow units i don't think you really need them uh you just you might as well pay the 45 for the mixed bow and then you know add maybe some light horse archers perhaps i would say in my opinion that this could be a great army for biblical a winning army hard to beat because of everything i've said about hoplite struggling on impact and against the bow uh this army could do really well but once you go to classical i would probably and this is seems to be what's happened when i looked at the stats and and the armies in the league all of the players have taken there's about four or five players that have taken the persians out this season and i think almost all of them but one have taken the 480 list and the 480 list have the greeks with some hoplites they mixed in so that is probably going to help you in classical because in testing and from what i've seen um in battles these guys once you go in on impact and melee uh especially against impact foot they can double drop really quickly um and you're going to be struggling they just don't hold against most heavy foot especially impact foot you've also got to remember their bow as well so there's that minus one modifier for fighting heavy foot in the open okay um let's let's have a look at the next list and we'll compare and and, and see what we think and this is the 480 BC army with the Greek 680 BC allies. And straight away, you can see we've got some armored hoplites. We've got six and one of the armored veteran hoplites. So, you know, actually, when you look at it, when, you know, it's nice actually to compare armies and lists. And this looks like a real army to me, uh, you know, more balanced you've got at least some half decent infantry to cover and help hold back the hordes while you fire away with your your mixed bow um so you can see why all the players have taken this list out i mean though the, these two lists that i'm looking at um the first one the the 545 uh list and this is the 480 um they are, are actually the the list that everyone takes um the other persian armies people uh, haven't taken them out so much the, these are far and away the two that everyone take take out so um it's interesting to compare them you can i think you, you can tell that this this kind of army is going to do better in classical now how well it's going to do i'm not sure um you know these are still only armored hoplites to be honest with you i've said this in a few other videos uh, armor is pretty expensive in this game generally speaking um it doesn't count on impact and it's only a roughly about a plus 25 advantage over most units um which isn't a lot so when you're paying 54 
that's quite a lot really um so and you know 78 with the armored veteran uh but that's that's even more so um these units are expensive but you know in this in this army they could they could be useful um to help the your mixed bow out you've got immortals at the back we've got four um in that first list we looked at we, we had five so there's only one difference and even the mixed bow we've got in this build um we've got 11 and in that first list we had 18 so there's seven difference but we've got obviously all, all of these hoplites instead don't have much cav again it's about the same you've got some light horse archers and some um of your armored cav with bow and a few master archers so really the, you're going to win you're going to win and lose on your mixed bow can you inflict damage on the enemy before impact that is the game really there um maybe you can play quite defensively um there isn't that much rough ground rough ground would be great hills would be great um we've got a little bit of rough ground here but not not so much i would say that this army i would recommend if you're going to take the persians out and um they happen to be in classical then this is the army to take because it's more balanced get more protection for your bow because as i said in the first part of this video um these mixed bow don't do that well against impact and romans and pike so you need this protection but if the persians are in biblical i would take that first army out because you've got tons of mixed bow and the hoplites aren't so great against these units there's not so much of a difference, especially on the impact. There's no difference, um, and even in melee, they're not um, they're not down that much. Um, it's about is it roughly a plus hundred or so, um, and also even. Um, in biblical you've got quite a lot of armies with really cheap poor quality infantry like the phoenicians and the egyptian spearmen and um, these mixed bow are, are actually up um on those guys by about 12 so um on impact anyway so they do much better in in biblical so i would take that first army out my grade it's gonna be a little bit difficult i haven't played classical for a while um i don't have you know i've played against this army um in classical and it was pretty poor so i don't have good memories of this of this list um it's gonna be a c plus maybe I'm going to go C plus. I'm going to be a bit mean. I'm not going to go uh, B minus at the moment. Let's keep our eyes open on these um, and see how these players do uh, this season. But I think most armies are going to are going to do well against this kind of army. Um, you don't have that much cab advantage you've got no really good i mean you know your best troops are the immortals but they're really bow still so you know roman legionnaires the pikes uh impact troops they're just gonna do do really well against these kind of these kind of troops so i think you're gonna struggle so about a c plus i would say in biblical uh, sorry in classical now in biblical that first army uh the 545 army i'm 
maybe gonna go maybe really hard maybe about a minus even i think the persians are much much better in biblical so when you've got so many mixed bow i think we had 18 wasn't it and the hoplites and the egyptian spear and phoenician spear they don't do that great even against these so i think it's far better to play as the persians in biblical so i'm going to go about an a minus there um but in classical it's a whole different story okay so that's about it let's um let's see if you if you're playing with this army either of the of these armies that i've looked at let us know if you're playing against this army let us know put your comments below but yeah i'm gonna go with a minus um for that first army in biblical and about a c plus for this army fighting in classical thanks a lot for watching and see you again soon